What's up, everyone? Vincent Janito here. I am sitting here watching the Dalsim reveal trailer for Street Fighter V. We're going to run you through it bit by bit. I know what you're saying. What are you talking about, Vince? This isn't Dalsim. This is everybody else. Uh, so Dalsim's reveal trailer has a whole bunch of footage of uh, the other characters that have been uh, announced thus far, which is, you know, fairly cool, but that's not what you guys are here to see. Let's skip on up right to where Dalsim enters, which is right around here. Here comes a new challenger. So here he is floating on in, as uh, Dalsim is wont to do. Love the way those stretchy legs look. So let's let's back up a second here, um, and let's just take a look at, at how uh, Dalsim looks now. So, um, first of all, he's got a beard. That's a big deal. Um, I figured he'd been... That's a life choice, right? I mean, like, he's been around for a long time. Uh, he's no uh, he's no spring chicken, so um, <laughs> him having a, a beard all of a sudden is uh, is definitely that some time has passed and he's decided to let it grow in. He's also got the, the big ring earrings, um, which uh, I don't think he's ever had the, the big rings like that before, uh, or the turban. So some definitely time has passed and he's gotten a little bit uh, a little bit more on in years. But uh, other than that, he looks pretty much like the Dalsum uh, that we know and love. And we start out the trailer. Uh, this trailer, things happen very quickly in this trailer. It's like something every second. So it's going to it's gonna be a little bit uh, very tightly packed. We're going to be doing a lot of rewinding here. That's what Rewind Theater is all about. So, yeah, we start out with uh, with kind of Dalsum's trademark. Uh, we'll watch at full speed, which is his uh, long extending uh, limbs, his long normal attacks, which allow him to control space from, um, you know, from around half screen or uh, maybe maybe a little farther. And we can see that's no different here. We've got first what looks like a, I'm gonna guess that's a stand strong or a stand medium punch if you're not into the uh, Street Fighter nomenclature. Um, and that has a solid amount of range on it. It looks like if you look at how far out it extends, it looks like he probably could have tagged Zangief from a little farther out there. Um, and then he's got this, uh, well, I'm gonna guess that's a stand forward. Um, as well, and that's uh, that's got quite a bit of range as well. You notice it hits kind of low. I'd be interested to know if that's actually uh, has to be blocked low. That would be interesting if uh, Dalsim had a normal that he could uh, uh, attack with from that range and uh, and actually force the person to block low. That would be cool. So uh, back it up. Let's let that play through. And real quick, they they kind of go right by it. But we get our first glimpse at uh, another Dalsim staple, uh, which is his slide. Uh, and he's kind of down off screen there. It's hard to see, but uh, you know this is a this is a standard thing uh, with Dalsim uh, players. He's got uh, slides of uh, a slide of three different uh, lengths, uh, traveling different distances. And typically that can be used to go underneath projectiles. This footage is against Zangief, so we don't get to see if that's really going to be the case. Uh, we'll see this slide a little bit more later. But again, a Zangief staple that's returned. And then I, I think that's pretty much a standard throw. Um, Nothing special there, although there's a throw later that might be a little bit special, so we'll see. And then you see again, we have, uh, you know, the uh, the yoga spear. Um, so this is uh, this is again another staple staple move, uh, for Dawson. Uh, he just comes down. It's uh, you, you jump in the air, you press down with one of the punch but oh, sorry, one of the kick buttons, uh, and he comes down feet first. Uh, judging on the angle. And how kind of sharp it is, uh, I would say this is probably the uh, the light version. But um, who knows? They might switch that around in uh, in Street Fighter Five from Street Fighter Four. But more interesting is what happens right after that. So it's his teleport, and he's had teleports before. So Vince, why is this interesting? Well, I'll tell you, dear viewer, why it's interesting to me. Because first of all, of how quickly he does it after after uh, the spear that's uh, that's interesting to me because usually um, there's a little bit more recovery time after uh, after after the spear and it looks like he's basically able to act almost right away and that's significant the other thing here if we can take a look is you know it's hard to say because I don't have frame data on Zangief's uh, command grab whichever command grab he was going for here it's hard to say if he's going for SPD or if he's going for something else but it would seem, you know, by the merit of the fact that he's doing the throw whiff animation, um, you know, it's possible here that uh, that Zangief might have gone for an SPD or command grab and that uh, Dalsim actually teleported out. Now, maybe the Zangief player here is just slow to react. 
But it would be interesting to me if uh, if teleport had some kind of startup invulnerability or throw invulnerability to make it um, more useful for making escapes. It, it can be useful for making escapes in Street Fighter 4, but for the most part, it's pretty unsafe and not a, necessarily the best option. Um, and that's one of the problems that Dalsim has, is that when people get up close, he doesn't have great ways of creating space for himself again. Um, a lot of his options aren't very safe for doing that. So uh, it would be cool if teleport, back teleport, was a little bit more viable for that. So yeah, moving on. Um, so here we have uh, another uh, Yoga Spear with uh, a little bit of a flatter trajectory. So we know that he has multiple versions of his Yoga Spear, like he always has. So that's good to know. And then after that, we get something else here. Now, that's a, that's a jump fierce. That's a, that's a, a jump back fierce. Um, and, you know, the trailer makes it look a little bit like it might have been a combo, but it's it's really... It looks to me like he's back to neutral there and maybe even throwing out a move. So I'd say that probably didn't combo. Still, the fact that uh, he can uh, jump back fierce and that it will hit a grounded opponent is pretty significant. Um, maybe it's just because Zangief is big. Zangief is usually, you know, is a pretty large hitbox character, or hurtbox, rather, uh, character. So maybe it's that. But who knows? Maybe maybe this could even on some characters be like an instant overhead. That would be interesting. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, not sure what that's going to play out as, but it's an interesting, uh, an interesting property. So moving on. And this is, you know, his V reversal, no big deal. Okay, whoa, what was that? All right, so this is where things get... Uh, this is where things get interesting. So you can see that Dalsim jumps, and then mid-jump, he's just like, nope, I'm going to stay right here. And we uh, we know already um, from uh, just the, the posts we've seen online already, this is his V-skill. This is Yoga Float. So he can activate that on the ground or in midair. And what's interesting here is that he uses it and then uh, stops himself in midair and then he does actually an attack out of it. So what we know already about, about Yoga Float is that um, when he does that in the midair, he actually can he can hold there and then he has all the options he would normally have in the air. So any move he can normally do in the air, he can cancel out of Yoga Float uh, with. And then we see another something interesting here. Let's play it in full speed first and then we'll back it up. Yeah, right there, he does what looks like uh, Yoga Tower, which, uh, you know, people who've played 4 will know that this is kind of like an evasive move that uh, Dalsim can do to avoid projectiles. Um, and it's interesting here because um, I think this is all one, one... It looks like all one animation. I think it's all one move. So I think what he's actually done here is he's activated his V skill, the Yoga Flow, on the ground. And when you activate it on the ground, it just does a Yoga Tower uh, into the Yoga Float. What would be interesting, and I don't know if it works like this yet, we know that there's a lot of V skills in the game so far that if you tap them, they do something different than if you hold them. So I wonder if you just tap Yoga Skill, the, the, the Yoga Skill, if you just tap the two medium attacks, if you can do a regular Yoga a tower and then come back down from it and use that as a way to just kind of avoid fireballs and projectiles like you would in Street Fighter 4 but then if you hold it, it turns into the float. Again, no guarantees. I don't know that's the way it works but I think it could work that way and that would be interesting because then that means that uh, Dalsim would still have his yoga float. Um, and then you see uh, here he, he, he uses that uh, that height to uh, make Zangief whiff the throw and then uh, punishes it with a what's probably a, a jump forward. And then some more stuff ensues. Let's watch this at full speed. That's definitely not a combo, by the way. Um, but we see a normal that we've seen before. Uh, and again, please, Dalsim players, uh, forgive me if, uh, if I've got the inputs on this uh, wrong. That looks like um, close standing strong. Uh, the beginning frames of close standing strong for uh, for Dalsim. But what's interesting is that in Street Fighter V, uh, there are no close uh, normals. There are no diff There is no differentiation differentiation between close and far normals. So maybe he's activating that by pressing back 
with strong, which is something that Dalsim's always had uh, the ability to do, which is press back. Uh, well, not always, uh, but in Street Fighter Four, he had the ability to uh, press back and get a short version of the norm of, of of one of his normals. And then what's cool is it cancels that into Yoga Inferno. So this is the first time we see Yoga Inferno. We see uh, Yoga uh, Inferno is uh, is returning. Uh, and it's here's a, a, a running theme with Dalsim uh, that you're going to see start here, is that he's able to cancel out of this back strong um, with uh, into a special. And, you know, I don't know all the cancel properties of all of Dalsim's normals in Street Fighter 4, but I can say that in Street Fighter 5, you'd be surprised how sparse uh, special cancelable uh, normals really can be. Like, you'd think that most things would be cancelable, but a lot of things aren't. Um, so you're going to see that, that Dalsim seems to have a lot of uh, special cancelable normals, and that's that could be kind of significant in terms of uh, how his playstyle shakes out. So let's watch that in full speed again. Yeah, there's the Inferno. Okay, now that's a huge, huge thing we just saw right there. So this is the first time in the trailer that we see Yoga fire. And we see... He, I, first of all, I love that animation, the stance that he takes, the, the uh, gesture he does with his, uh, with his hand. Uh, I just love this, this animation. Love the animations in this game. So, yeah, we've got an arcing yoga fire. And he recovers from that pretty quick. Um, he's back to neutral pretty much right here. It uh, doesn't look like it, but because then he immediately goes into the the teleport. So you know, that fireball is still that yoga fire is still hanging up at the uh, apex of its arc, and he's pretty much free to act here. So uh, think of other options you could do from this range. Pretty much any of his normals because they're long range. Um, his slide. Uh, there's lots he could do. So if you got a knockdown and the person didn't tech it, um, he could totally throw this out and then um, and then use that to. Uh, to start some setups and, and reinitiate some offense. Also, um, it controls some space in the air. It looks like it's probably a little bit too slow. We don't see it all the way from startup, but I'm going to guess it's probably too slow to use as a reliable anti-air, but as we'll see in a little bit, that doesn't look like it's going to be a huge problem for Dalsim because he's got other options to deal with aerial opponents. So yeah, you see, he uses that, uh, he uses that uh, slow-moving, fast-recovering projectile to uh, to teleport behind, and uh, and then he goes into um, he goes into a combo from there. So it's a teleport, and there it's interesting because it looks like he's done. Oh yeah, you know I hadn't thought about this. It's tough for me to tell if this is a TK, uh, a Tiger Need uh, teleport, or if this is a version of the teleport that actually ends him up behind his opponent and in the air. Kind of unclear. I really can't tell. Um, either way, he does end up in the air um, and then does a jump, uh, the, the jump fierce, lands and does what looks like um, his old back forward. Um, and uh, again, cancels that into Inferno. So that's, we're presuming back strong and back forward. Um or back medium punch and back medium kick, um, for those of you that don't, that don't speak Street Fighter, uh, can both be canceled into Inferno. So, uh, yeah, that brings us to two. All right. Huge, huge thing here. So we just saw his uh, his V trigger. You can tell from the flourish. The, oh, the, the halo effect. Um, yeah, and this is definitely his V trigger, and we know this is called Yoga Burner. Uh, and what it does is it creates a space on the ground that's um, that's uh, just inflamed, and then anyone standing in it starts taking uh, healable damage, like gray damage. Um, so, and once they get out of it, they will slowly start healing that uh, that back. So there's a potential that they can walk through this, and then if they play good enough defense, they won't get they won't actually take the damage permanently. But you can see a lot of people are not going to want to stand in that, and they're gonna they're gonna guys. I'm here to tell you they're gonna do some dumb things to get out of this. Um, not everyone, but but I know a lot of players will probably want to do exactly what this Zangief player does here, which is jump. And then as I was saying before, um, Dalsim has some great 
great ways of dealing with jump-ins, it seems, uh, in Street Fighter V. So this looks like, if I was going to guess, I'd say this is a Crouch Strong. Could be Crouch Fierce. I don't know. But I think this is Crouch Strong. And you can see that it just extends so far up and out at a 45-degree angle. Um, now, for people who are jumping very near to you, um, kind of that cross-up range, I don't know how effective this would be. But at the... Uh, at kind of a, a, a farther jump range, uh, this looks like a, a wonderful anti-air. Um, so that's uh, one of his options that he has. And again, you see what he does. He cancels that into uh, an arcing yoga fire. Um, and it comes very close to hitting Zangief. Uh, I mean, Zangief spins out well in advance. Um, but I wonder if... Uh, we, it's unclear if the aerial yoga fire is a different move than the ground-based yoga fire, which which is, still exists as far as I know. It, it is in the trailer. But uh, I'm wondering if there's an EX version of the of the aerial art one, and you could you know hit with them with the crouch strong or crouch fierce, whatever this is, and then cancel into the EX uh, and get, uh, and get a, a little bit of extra damage out of it. That would be interesting. Uh, in any case, that's another, that's the third uh, special cancelable normal for Dalsim. And, uh, yeah, so this is a great, uh, so we have a few things going on here. Let's back this, let's back this up. So, there's a few things happening here. For one, uh, the Sim player uses uh, the skill, the V skill, the Yoga Float, as a, as a bait. Because, you know, a patient, if you just do this at neutral, the, vo the, the yoga float, um, I can see how people would be like, oh, you're just a sitting duck up there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press a button and just, and just tag you. But since you can cancel it with any air move, he cancels it into the teleport behind and then whiff punishes uh, with, the, uh, with the jump fierce and then goes into, uh, you know, uh, back forward. Uh, and then what looks like an EX version of Inferno. Now, again, we don't know if there's... In the past, he's had a separate um, land-based Inferno and then an anti-air Inferno, and I'm not sure if this is just an EX version of the of the anti-air Inferno or if they've kind of condensed it and just made it that the EX version of Inferno just does this. And they've done this with other characters. Ken, for instance, has, uh, you know, his, his roundhouse version of his hurricane kick is actually this arcing version that's totally different. Same thing with Nash uh, and his uh, Sonic Scythe uh, kick. Uh, special is different, just a totally different move. Is the roundhouse version? So this could be this could be that. Either way, what's clear is uh, this EX Inferno launches Zangief way up, and we'll see later on in the trailer that that's uh, got some combo potential to it. So let's back that up and just watch the whole sequence again. Oh, before we watch the whole sequence again, one more thing to note here. I didn't notice this, but here it looks like Dalsim is stepping forward into the air as opposed to straight up. The other one where he did what looked like a, a standard tower was definitely straight up. Here it looks like he's stepping forward. So again, like I've said before um, earlier in the video, you know, there are characters who have different versions of their V skill depending on whether they press it or hold it, but also whether or not they press a direction along with it. So it looks like this is probably uh, another version of yoga of the ground-based yoga float that allows him to move forward. So it looks like uh, Dawson can play with his spacing a little bit um, when he does it so that he can go into these shenanigans from farther away or maybe use it to create a little bit of space if there's a back version. Who knows? Um, but let's watch the whole thing. The whole sequence is pretty sweet. Uh, whiff and punish. Beautiful. Okay, so there we have what looks like another uh, quality anti-air. I don't know what that is. It could be... It could be Crouch Fierce. It could be Stand Fierce. I'm not sure uh, what exactly it is. But again, it's another quality anti-air for him with a little bit of a, of a, of a steeper angle. It's, uh, it's not 45 you know, so I, this would be a more ideal anti-air for people jumping from a little bit closer to you. 
Um, and also, again, it is cancelable. So, uh, in this case, uh, he cancels right into an EX Yoga Flame. Now, this is the first Yoga Flame we've seen that travels in a straight line. So, again, wondering if the only Yoga Flame that travels in a straight line is the EX version. Um, and if the other versions travel in an arc. Um, that would certainly be interesting. Um... Because it means that most of uh, Dalsim's zoning would have to come from his normals. He wouldn't be able to control necessarily tons of horizontal space with his uh, with a Yoga Flame like he could before. Um, so yeah, and also cancelable, which is kind of cool because it means that if he does anti-air with it, and this is exactly what this pl player does, he anti-airs and cancels into this uh, Yoga uh, Fire that then this Zangief has to deal with as soon as he lands. Um, so, Zangief tries to muscle through it, um, but then it gets hit with the sweep. Again, another advantage of having slow-moving projectiles that recover quickly is that, you know, you can follow them up with things, and especially with Dalsim, with all the range that he has, can do that from quite a distance off. Like so. So, here we see another interesting little... Uh, we learn a couple of new things about Yoga Burner. Uh, his uh, V-Trigger. So for one, uh, we see he does a normal. Again, that's what I'm presuming might be back strong. And then he's canceling He's canceling that normal into his V-Trigger. So uh, A, uh, Dalsim is capable of canceling normals into his V-Trigger. Not every character is necessarily able to do that in Street Fighter V. Secondly, um, at least that close range, that initial spout uh, of flame that comes out um, does uh, have a hitbox. It can, it can, it can, and it seems to knock down. So he hits them with the with the one two, the normal, and then the the trigger, and that knocks the opponent down right into the flame. And in this case, is stuck in the corner, so he now just has to deal with it. Let's uh, let's see what kind of what this whole section looks like. Uh, let's back this, back this up, and play that at full speed, and just see how all this looks. So he gets knocked down, and now he's got the flame going on underneath him, and he's got to hold all of this nonsense that's going on. But some more important stuff happened there. Like I said, this is a very dense trailer, a lot going on. So. Uh, he wakes up. Now that looks like, um, again, uh, Dalsim doing uh, a normal while holding back so that it, it does a short range quicker version. That looks like it could be down back fierce. And I don't I don't know if that's a target combo or if uh, or if he's or if that's link timing, but it looks like he was able to do uh, down what I'm presuming is down back fierce into again what I'm presuming is back forward. And then he does that that ex uh, inferno, and here we see with uh, with the corner there, he is able to get uh, some juggle uh, action out of it, and it's a very unlikely source of juggle action. Apparently, at least the EX version, we don't know if there's other versions he can do, but he can at the very least do an EX version of Inferno in mid-air, and it, it, it can be used as part of a juggle combo. So that's very, that's a whole new ball game for, uh, for Dalsim. That's not something that, that, to my knowledge, he's ever been able to do, uh, although I didn't play a whole lot of him in Alpha. Um, in Alpha 3. So, it's possible that this is a... Forgive me, Alpha 3 veterans, if this is a, a bread and butter of his in, in that game. I'm not overly familiar with it. But uh, in the other Street Fighters, I can't say that that's a thing that Dawson's been able to do. So, uh, so yeah, corner juggles. Um, a new dimension for Dawson. And uh, just having this link off of the what looks like a Crouch Fierce is cool too. Some nice damage potential there. Uh, so let's let, let all that play out. I think that's a link. That looks like a link to me. And then here, we have another throw. Now, now, folks, this really could just be... This just could be Dalsim's other throw. You know? Um, I, don't, I don't know for sure. Something about the animation, about the way uh, he grabs Zangief... I feel like this could be a command grab. And that's super exciting to me because, again, anyone who's played Sim 
uh, with any level of proficiency and against good players knows that the Sims' big problem is that once people get up close, he just has a tremendous amount of problem making space for himself again. If he had a command grab, you know, which would, which would be an unteckable grab, you know, potentially with a very quick short startup, um, that would give him a great answer to people crowding his space and getting them, uh, you know, off his back and uh, kind of resetting the situation and letting him play his kind of mid-long-range uh, zoning game that, uh, that Dalsim is so good at. So, yeah, be interested to see if that's actually a command grab. And then the grand finale is his critical art. Oh, shenanigans. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> so let's, let's back up and look at that again. Now, this is... Definitely a version of uh, Yoga Catastrophe, which was uh, one of his ultras in uh, Street Fighter 4. Um, what I love about this one, I love how big and huge his belly gets. After he pulls it, oh, that's great. I love it. I don't know why I love that. That's totally twisted and sick looking, but I like it. Um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, he lets it out, and... Again, he recovers relatively quick from it. Um, not as quick as I would probably like, but certainly quick enough, like you see here, to throw in a teleport. And and you can see from the way this works that then uh, it switches the side that Zangief has to block, and he eats the uh, he eats the critical for the for the KO. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to pull off some kind of silly shenanigans uh, with this. Uh, silly mix-ups, cross-ups. Um, although, it would seem that if this is the only version of it, he won't be able to use it. This will not be his get-off-me. Because in, in Ultra, he people often burn uh, you know, his Ultra like this in, in, in Street Fighter IV. Uh, just because it travels horizontally to get people off him in a control space, give him a chance to back up. Um, here, it won't really be as effective for that. He won't he won't be able to do that. Um, so it'll kind of take on a more offensive use uh, for him. So let's let's back up and watch the whole thing uh, together again. But overall, I think it's pretty uh, a lot of exciting changes for Dalsim. Uh, it looks like he has a wider uh, range of anti-air options, um, more combo potential. More potential for um, for kind of mix-ups and shenanigans in mind games, and um, that's exciting to me. You know, this is a character who has typically always had to just play one way, and to see him have so many different uh, new tools and kind of have new ways to, to play mind games uh, with people, force them into you know bait out whiffs with uh, with 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 the yoga float. Um, you know, big juggle combos or potential uh, juggle combos like like in the corner there with the. Uh, with his new air inferno, uh, the setups with uh, Yoga Burner. Uh, there's a lot of exciting possibilities for this character, so I'm really uh, pleased with uh, how they've updated his fighting style. But uh, that's all I got for you guys right here. For more on Street Fighter V, there's one character left remaining. Uh, keep it right here, guys, on IGN.